she's single because in a perfect world she's single because she's taking her time focusing on what's important but probably um, because we don't live in a perfect world if you're single right now it's probably because you should be taking time to build yourself build your assets build the kind of person that you are you know we attract what we put into this universe I think that it's important um, that people not you know over compromise you know what I mean so for a lot of people they're in the situation that they're in I should preface this by saying it's a lot of people in relationships who still single so they in they in the uh, relationships that they're in because you've over compromised you know what I mean if you're less than dead you don't need to do that uh, for what you want she is single because she doesn't know how to be in a relationship she's so mentally beautiful that she's been taught by society to reject what's been given to her so when guys come to her in any approach she pushes them off i would say she's single because her past has broken her and now she has no more trust to give so she's built a wall in the place where her heart used to be and she lives carelessly and free because that's the way to stay protected in this game today she's single because she is single because uh, so many reasons, man. But what I'll say is she's playing in the game not realizing she's the prize, man. So many girls nowadays are trying to impress other people, trying to find love from the wrong people, when really, once they learn how to love themselves, they'll attract love. Now I can list off a lot of reasons. I could say trust issues, loyalty, insecurities. I can blame it on a lot of things, but She's single because as men, we're not ready. We have a lot of healing from growing up with single parents to just not learning how to be a man. Man, listen, she is single because she stay on IG too much. Mm -hmm. You ever seen a chick that just mm -hmm. scrolls her timeline day in and day out, then brings all of what she's filled herself with that day into y'all relationship? Like you can't do that. Tell, have y'all ever like been with your girl and she tell you all of what's going on with Kanye, the Kardashians, but she don't know if you ain't much? Mm, I like that. You gotta think about it. That's a real point. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I mean I see that and I see see I think I think Instagram is like a symptom, it's not the problem. Right? Cause take out Instagram and what it's gonna be. It was before Instagram, it was TV before TV, it was the hair salon, you know what I'm saying? Like people go and get whatever needless ass information they can find wherever they can find it. So perhaps I guess what I'm saying is that maybe not that IG ain't a problem, but that the problem is what kind of people are they? like what what kind of information do you prioritize? Right? So if you think that a whole bunch of BS is important you go to IG to find it right and then you would check that I think perhaps in your in your selections if, if your man's ain't fucking with uh what is it uh, love and hip-hop yeah then what we gonna talk about so like I heard it preached once that you you can't have access to which you don't honor right but what that means is that in order to honor something you recognize the importance of it and for right now a lot of people recognize the convenience of a relationship and the uh, good warm feelings but they don't recognize the importance and until you do you're gonna be by yourself but you made a good point selection ig you looking at the most superficial nature mm. of the people yeah. so in real, real life in real life you Rest picking free. people Pick and choose the best version of themselves. In fact, it too, it's, it's really like the attention that she has, where her attention goes to. And if she's paying attention to these superficial things, then she doesn't know what's real. She doesn't even know the real her. So she needs to pay attention to her own needs instead of everybody else's needs. Because if she knows herself and she can give herself the love she needs within a relationship, if she knows how to have one, or if she's lacking the sense of knowing herself. Maybe she's the, the light-skinned pretty girl and she's been uh, bullied by all the mean girls growing up or she's the dark-skinned pretty girl and has been bullied by the opposed complexion. So she's done the same thing to gender and she doesn't want to get in a relationship because she doesn't know how. So that's why you see a lot of them get in relationships and they don't stay in them long because they haven't been in them before. They don't know how to be in them. All that, like, like y'all said, she's single. Cause she don't know how to prioritize, man. So a lot of us, when we when we select our woman, we can talk about all these different women, 
but we already have a priority in our heads. Women, a lot of times, they take the men that come to them without having the best selection process. Just because, like, we know how to play the game, bro. So we know, yo, know, if I text her every morning, if I'm consistent texting her throughout the day, and let's keep it 100, once I hit it, I got it. But then, that's when the game shifts. So she's single because she already gave up something that is our, one of our goals. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now she thinks, because I gave on this, now we're going to all, oh, she's going to be my boyfriend. He's going to want me more. The more I give him, I give him this, that. So she's chasing the wrong dudes. And it's only, she's chasing the dudes that chased her. She's single because she's out there trying to follow society's standard of what she should be. But all she should be is her best person. She is single because. Yes, and I, I agree with that. I think it's, um, it's about maturity and growth. Mm -hmm. You have some women that are in their mid-20s, early 30s, and they're still searching for the same thing they was in the man when they were 17, 18. Mm -hmm. They haven't grown. Exactly. You know, it's all surface for some of them. You know, um, there's a new wave on social media with guys being snacks. Like you're 25, 30, why are you looking for a snack? You need to get so You need all the you know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all want to cool bombs. Yeah, it's crazy because it's like some people, you know, to hit on your point, they do use Instagram as a measuring stick for a relationship. They love that relationship goals. Like oh, I hate that. Yeah. But that's the community. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's relationship goals. Relationship yeah. goals. It's crazy. And to piggyback on that, you said what they were looking for is something when they were 17, 18. To follow back on that, some of them are single because they got bodies from back then. If we look back to the point of WSSU, we all matriculated at, we saw four years of some people just <laughs> doing what we were doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like when you look at that at the point now that we're 28 and 30, we're like, uh, PJ used to, you know, D used to, AB used to, I can't do that. You but know? But I mean, look at this though, right? Iron sharpens iron, right? So mm -hmm. at this point in my life, I'm looking for somebody to elevate me, right? Mm -hmm. So if you've been here and you paying attention to this and looking at this and the grass is greener over here, you bringing that negativity to me and I'm going to a more positive light, then I'm gonna look at you like, yo, what's good? This ain't, this ain't working out. And that's how you end up single if you're not already. It's like mm -hmm. that moment you start working to build me and like we start working to build each other, it's like, what, what are we doing here? So when you grow up and your mom's raising you how to treat a woman. You see a strong woman who doesn't really need a man because she's getting everything on her own. So when you step out into the world and you find women who, who want you and need you, it's a responsibility that you have to learn all over again. So as men, once we start rebuilding ourselves and getting our strength back, she won't be single anymore. And I feel you, bro. But see, this is my, okay, because this is what we haven't talked about. Because this whole com this whole conversation, why I agree with what we're talking about, make niggas sound real noble. And I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because it make it sound like, it make it sound like we all sitting up together, having a wholesome conversation, talking about how none of these women want to build with us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, women don't set pace for relationships. They never have, they never will, yeah, right? Yeah. They don't even decide when we get married, they don't decide when we get together, they don't decide when they get pregnant. We decide all of that, right? So the thing is, we could talk about what they doing, but truth be told, a lot of women not in relationships because we ain't trying to do that. Matter of fact, I'm talking to my mom and oh, I'm like, yeah, bro, she pushing the issue, dog. She really want to do this. But honestly, my nigga, some shit to do when I ain't got nothing to do, right? And I'm, I'm going to keep this going because it's something to keep going. I mean, she cop a nigga gifts or whatever, or we go out to eat, or, you know what I mean, ask for that, whatever, or she look good, you know what I mean, when we in the club, but I ain't really trying to do all that. You know what I'm saying? And like, for a large part of the conversation needs to be that a lot, women, by and large, are single because some man haven't got around to wife her yet. You know what I'm saying? It was a hundred, not hundred. It was women. It was women. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It was women. Hey! They gonna edit that out. It was women. I'm keeping all the footage. Before, before my girl now, it was women who I had been with, we spent time together, we did whatever together, and in their mind, it could have went the distance. And in my mind, it could have too. They didn't have no clue that it wasn't. But I knew. You see what I'm saying? And so like that changes things, because we can put all of it on them, dog, but we know. Hey, but no, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I'm gonna get you. I kind of agree, but I kind of disagree with what you're saying. Women always set the pace in a relationship, bro. They set how we even interact with them. What we were speaking of, kind of what y'all were speaking of before, was relationship real estate. What are you willing to give up to get what you want? 
They set that tone. So you know if you're gonna smash a girl on the first night, or you know your intentions with this girl after you smash. Like, let's, let's really be honest. But in this day and time, women are starting to embody and value the worst expressions of men and thinking that it's okay. Mm -hmm. That ain't okay. Mm -hmm. Flip it. Let's not say pace, let's say progress. Let's, let's, let's put this all out on the table though. Because, because society changes a lot of things, right? Yeah. So right now, today in society, it's cool to be a hoe. Let's just really? keep it 100, bro. Yeah. Really? We love, everybody loves Cardi B. What's, she, what's her song? What's her number one song? If a nigga can get some money. Yeah. And everybody's screaming this. They think it's so cool and everything. And at a point, yeah, it's good to have fun. Yeah, it's good to live your life. But as a man, we only want to hope for one thing. Yeah. We want to wife the girl that's not doing that stuff. But see, right now, a lot of women, and I'm not, I'm not saying all, because like you said, it's a maturity level thing. So you can <laughs> mature to a point where that stuff ain't cool no more. But right now, a lot of that stuff is cool. So you see girls half naked, trying to show off their bodies. You get what I'm saying? You see women twerking all the time and it's cool. And they're not just doing it with them and their friends. They put it out for the whole world to see. And that man that's courting you, or that man that's looking at you like the first time I see you, first time I ever see a woman, I'm not gonna talk to her. I'm gonna watch her. See what yeah, she's I'm gonna do my Ooh, research. Yeah, I'm so what, when I watch her and I see everything she's doing, I'm gonna sit back and I'm like, dang, yo, she out there twerking on Instagram. Whoop, that wifey status is all right. Yeah, I know that. I do. Yes, you take to you. She's single because it's not communicated what she wants. So nobody knows what she wants. It's never been said that you want to be in a relationship. He never said he wanted to be in a relationship. She never asked. She yeah. never asked. So communication and stop having all these blurred lines. Be demanding on what you want. Women have a big problem with talking and communicating what they want. But that's a responsibility on our point. Because, because we have these high level relationships. You know what I mean? We come to a girl and we like, we scared to tell her about our past. Like, we scared to tell her that we, we deal with lust. Like, if I can't tell my girl who I'm expecting to be my wife that I deal with lust and she can't help me with that, like, what are we doing together? Like, if you can't help me through my demons, what are we doing together? So I got to be able to open up and tell you these things from the beginning. Like, oh, we dating. I don't want a relationship yet. Like, I can tell you that. But you're going to help me figure it out. And that's when you start growing with people. It's like, you got to stop that high level talk and get deep in with people because mm -hmm. people hide it. It's like, but when you marry five years and you like, I didn't notice about you. It's because y'all always been high level. Yeah, you yeah. 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 always been high level. Like, talk about it. That's why she's <laughs> You guys said it all, man. That's why she's single.